Am I the a-hole for calling my brother a disgusting gross man at his daughter's birthday party? My brother Paul and I are not close at all. We have very different worldviews and have incompatible personalities. I can tolerate him, but I would never consider him a friend. He's been married to Lisa for one or two years now, and they have a beautiful daughter together. My girlfriend Amy and I were invited to celebrate my niece's first birthday. Most of my family was invited, and it would be the first time I would have seen them all together as I only see my family once or twice a year with a few exceptions. Amy and I arrived a little earlier than we were supposed to, and instead of waiting in the car, we decided to go in. The first thing I noticed is how calm my brother seemed to be in contrast to Lisa, who was frantically running up and down. When he saw Amy, he immediately handed the baby over to her and got a beer to sit down and watch TV. Lisa was clearly struggling, and he was content with a beer and Netflix. I don't want to be rude, and maybe this was a one-time thing, but it bothered me how uninvolved he was. He handed Amy a baby with a full diaper with vomit on its clothes. Eventually, Amy, Lisa, and I finished everything. The house was clean, the food was ready, and Lisa looked ready to host a big gathering. We all paid zero attention to Paul. When my family arrived, I thought everything was going well. I avoided Paul and enjoyed speaking to my family. After we sat down to eat, Paul approached me, drunk, thanking me for helping Lisa. I didn't want to be around him for long and moved out of his way, but he was very persistent. I was ignoring him, but he started talking about Amy. Protect Amy like a real man, or you've got a great woman by your side. You know what? Whatever. It was slightly odd and mildly uncomfortable, but I was able to brush it away. Amy was trying to sober him up a little bit before the cake cutting, so she was selectively hearing. We tried to get him to stop talking and drink water. However, he had a lot to say about Lisa. He was complaining about how pregnancy ruined Lisa's body and how a baby ruined his life. Amy and I kept looking at each other awkwardly and we were soon going to leave him be. We didn't leave the conversation soon enough. He began complaining to be about his intimate life, or lack thereof, and commenting on how desperately he wanted to sleep with someone fit like Amy. This made both of us extremely uncomfortable. Amy left quickly apologizing to Lisa while I told him that he was a disgusting, gross man who needs some freaking help, before I left. Apparently, this made him super upset and he started wailing at a party. Paul told everyone that the reason he was crying was because of my words to him. He got over it quickly, but a few people told me I was wrong to shame a father on his child's birthday. I could have probably left without making a statement. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Wrong to shame a father on his child's birthday. Father. Lol. Okay. Your brother could not be bothered to help his wife prepare for his child's party. One time thing or not, that is not acceptable. He then handed his baby over to the first available woman to deal with a diaper and a soiled clothing. During his child's birthday party, he made remarks about how sad child ruined his life, ruined his wife's body and compared her now ruined body to someone he finds more attractive whom he'd prefer to be intimate with. His brother's girlfriend to put a cherry on top. You are not the a-hole and he should be ashamed of himself. I hope Lisa figures out how to leave him. No, he barely even acknowledged the both of us. My girlfriend went to go say hi to him and he just handed her the baby like it was a piece of plastic. That's really awful. I really do hope Lisa can find her way out of this relationship with him. Your brother already resents a one-year-old baby and probably Lisa for doing it to him. They're both better off without him around. Not day hole. You shamed an unsupportive misogynist at a child's birthday party. You should reach out to Lisa to see how she's doing. Is she okay with him talking about her like that? If she wants some help putting his stuff in boxes, that sounds like something to rally the people who care about Lisa over. Amy told Lisa all the terrible things he said about her. Lisa didn't seem too upset, though it was said over a phone call so I can't properly gauge her reaction. She sighed and quickly changed the subject. Maybe she's heard it before or maybe she doesn't want to dwell on it. I'm not sure. Next story is titled, Am I the a-hole for ruining my sister's vacation? I'm 22 years old. My sister is 26 and has two children, a two-month-old and a two-year-old. I always thought she should not have gotten another child because she can barely take care of the other one. And most of the time asks other people to take care of them because she can't do it alone. Our mom is one of the people who goes and helps a lot. Definitely now that the baby's born. Now for the vacation part. I booked a vacation to the beach a year ago and it was quite expensive. 
but this is something I really wanted, so I saved up for it. I asked our mom if she wanted to go with me. She said yes. I booked and paid for two people. A month before we left for the vacation, my mom said my sister was also coming with us because her boyfriend was away that same week on a bike vacation. There wasn't really a discussion about it. They just announced it. Afterwards, I went to our mom and said my concerns about how I was afraid I would have no time for myself and I would have to babysit all the time. Something about me? I'm highly sensitive and I get overwhelmed very quickly by constant loud noises and as an introvert, being around people mentally drained me to the point I can't do anything anymore but just sleep. They know this. We're now four days into the vacation and everything I feared came true. I have to constantly keep the two-year-old busy while my mom and sister are on their phone or taking care of the baby. Even when I go somewhere else to be alone for a second like lay in my bed or something, he follows and keeps asking to play. I love him but it get too much for me. The only way they leave me alone is when I'm sleeping, so I have been doing that a lot. Which means that I wasn't able to do anything what I wanted. Now, my sister told me today that I'm ruining her vacation because I make long face all the time. I don't know if that's an English expression, but in Dutch it means I'm unhappy all the time. I was so annoyed. I told her, what do you mean ruining your vacation? I paid for it. This is my vacation. She began yelling and said that just because I paid for everything doesn't mean I can sit here and ruin it for her. I said, you invited yourself. I didn't ask you to be here. And said that they promised I would not have to babysit. She began yelling louder and said I haven't touched the baby while we were here. That's a lie. I have given him his bottle a few times and held him while he slept and cried plenty of times. I told her who has been keeping the two-year-old busy. She got angrier and said, Isn't that normal for you to want to play with a two-year-old as his aunt? Our mom is looking at me like I've kicked the children. Because how could I complain about playing with my own nephew? They stormed out and yelled that they're really something wrong with me, and I should think about what I said. I've been crying non-stop and have no clue what to do anymore. They don't talk to me, and I'm stuck here with them until Friday. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. Your sister sucks. Also, the mother sucks. I am sure she was worried about leaving her older daughter at home with two children when both she and the father would be away. But it's not fair to ruin her younger daughter's vacation, which she paid for, by inviting the sister along. Not the a-hole. This, yes. Mom threw her younger daughter under the bus to help out the older. None of this is fair. Wish people would stop having children when they cannot take care of them. Gosh, how difficult is that? I'm like Opie exactly. I cannot be around too many people and too much stimulation. Next time, just do by yourself. Not day hole. Not day hole. Your sister took advantage and your mom didn't care about you or your feelings. Go off on your own. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. When you get back, set boundaries and leave them to it. Your sister's kids are not your responsibility. Next time, go away on your own or go with a friend or a solo traveler's group. Neither your mom or your sister have thought about you or your feelings. It's all about your sister, her needs, and her kids. They'll probably call you an a-hole, but they're so self-absorbed. Your mom playing granny and reliving being a mom and your sister just being herself by the sounds of it. Just keep your boundaries. They will run to you again eventually for help. So make sure you say no. Not today, hole. I know it's hard when you are the youngest and want purpose your parent, but you are handling yourself fine. If you need help, show them this post. Tell them people around the world think that they are a-holes who have ruined your vacation and they need to shape up or go home. You love them, but not their entitlement. This was your vacation and your mom is your guest. Your sister was uninvited. They owe you an apology each and some consideration. Go and do the things you want and they can stay in the hotel room. If they go to the beach, they need to assign one of themselves to the baby and one to the nephew. Next story. Am I the a-hole for being rude to my dad after he excluded me from a family vacation? I, 15 female, live with my mom, however, have always maintained a close relationship with my dad, 49 male. Three years ago, he began dating a woman, 38 female, who has two kids, 11 male and 7 male. I've never liked this woman or her children, but have always tried to be civil with them for the sake of my dad's happiness. Since they began dating, they have split up about three or four times. And each time they break up, my dad insists he hates her and that he won't get back together with her. But time and time again, I discover that they are back together. The most recent time they split was due to the fact that she doesn't try to include me in anything and has never in three years tried to make an effort with me. 
But a little over a month ago, my dad reveals to me that they are going to a festival together, just the two of them, as they had won the tickets when they were still together and they were non-refundable. Fine, whatever, cool. I come to find from social media that her two children have also gone on the trip. So I call my dad and was upset that he didn't tell me that they were going to. And he continues to tell me that he did not tell me they were coming. But he realizes that he didn't tell me they were either. The next week, he accidentally lets slip that they are in fact back together, and it was in fact a family holiday. Last week, my dad told me that he would be joining his girlfriend, her kids, and a few other families they know on a vacation to Egypt. I asked him how this came to be, and he told me that the trip was already booked, and now that he and his girlfriend were back together, they told him that he could join them as there was enough space in the room they had booked. This seems like yet another lie, as he would have to book a plane ticket, get a larger room, and tell the hotel that he was coming to, among other things. And he can't just be tagging along. It doesn't work like that. I feel as though him telling me he was just tagging along as there was one extra space is just an excuse as to why he won't bring me with them. I've been visibly upset and icing him out for the past week, but despite a few side eyes from him, he hasn't mentioned it. I feel justified in being angry at my dad, but my nan thinks I am being a brat by being rude when he has done nothing wrong. Am I a hole? For context, I have never been on vacation with my dad anywhere, and I'm just upset that he is taking someone else's children on this experience before he has me. Edit. I don't make a big issue of not liking his girlfriend or the kids, but it's just known that they aren't my favorite people in the world. The last time I saw the kids, we actually got on quite well. Now for the top comments. Not they whole. People often get new families and forget they can't treat their first kids like crap. It's quite sad. The dad has a child and is close to him and loves him. Why would he push Opie away to be for a crappy girlfriend in what is clearly a harmful relationship? Not they whole. Sorry that he is excluding you. Please understand that he has this condition where he doesn't have a spine. Symptoms can include weakness, cowardice, and no resolve. That's why he fails to firmly to include you and or defend you from his malignant mess that's called girlfriend. In all seriousness, you have so much ahead of you, and he will regret not being a father to you especially when you start hitting life's milestones. He's taking you for granted when you met her. I misread the condition. I thought he was simply not thinking with his head and only worried about getting laid. Not day hole. Your father is lying to you, and not even lying well. I'm sorry that he has capitulated to his girlfriend and basically evades you being in his life in a meaningful way. This will likely result in you growing your resentment and eventually going no contact with him. In any case, I feel sad for your situation, all the more so because your dad is gutless and cannot even bother to tell you the truth. What an awful way to find out that some adults suck. Not the a-hole. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for not returning my boyfriend's calls while he was on vacation? Plus, little update. My boyfriend's family had their big family reunion last month. They really do it up big and have lots of events and activities. Stuff like going to amusement park, renting boats and jet skis, going to concerts, stuff like that. I was invited and was looking forward to going for well over a year. My boyfriend and I had talked about it numerous times. He had told me it started August 5th and would probably be about a week, but he wasn't sure what day we would be heading back. On July 19th, I asked him if he knew the final date so I could finalize the plans with our pet sitter. He told me it had been moved up to the 25th of July. On the 22nd, I told him I was having trouble finding a pet sitter, so I don't think I could go. On the 23rd, one of the people I put feelers out to got back to me and we had coverage. I told my boyfriend that I was able to find someone last minute. He told me that since I wasn't going, he changed his plans. And instead of driving, his parents bought him a plane ticket. The plane tickets were upwards of $800 since they were so close to the departure date, which was definitely way out of budget. So he went on his vacation and I stayed home. We had been fighting a lot about the situation. Him not telling me the dates promptly, him changing the plans without talking to me about it, etc. I told him that I was upset I didn't get to go, and that his lack of planning and communication only had negative consequences for me. He attempted to call slash text slash FaceTime me numerous times while he was gone, but I never picked up or called back and left all the messages on read. When he got back, he was really upset and called me an a-hole. He said that his family kept asking about me and wanted to say hi. He said that he really missed me. And since we had never spent that long apart before, it was really upsetting that I iced him out. 
He said that I was being childish for giving him the silent treatment. Things are still testy between us, but am I the a-hole for not talking to him while he was gone? Not the a-hole. If he really wanted you there, he would not have made it impossible for you to go. Well said. Reading this post, it's hard to believe that they are even dating. Seeing how he treated Opie in this situation, I wouldn't want to be with someone like that. Not day home. You jumped through hoops trying to make this work and find a pet sitter. And he didn't even have the courtesy to give you a heads up that the dates changed 10 days earlier? Down to the wire, he knew you were struggling to make it work and left without you. He actually knew about the date change back in the end of May slash beginning of June. That's even more frustrating, Opie. Holy crap. If I were in your shoes, I'd seriously be weighing the pros and cons of this relationship and end up dumping him. I don't like that he's playing victim here and calling you an a-haul and calling your behavior childish. He's taking no accountability at all. To be honest, I have been. That was a big part of why I didn't want to talk to him. Like, I really do love the guy and just seeing his face and hearing his voice makes me melt. I wanted to think about things without his influence for a while. The other part was definitely a petty. Well, he doesn't want to communicate with me about things. Why should I? Little update. Well, guys, it's over. He still doesn't get that I am upset about the lack of communication and planning on his part. He is now saying I'm just trying to keep him from seeing his family. So now he can move back to the state they live in and he can see them all the time. I'm pretty heartbroken, but that's that I get.